Do you have another opinion? Matter of fact, I do. How are you guys doing? It's David D. Back for another uh, political opinion. Okay, so uh, jobs are widely available in the U.S. I think there's 7.5 available job openings right now. A lot of uh, businesses struggling to fill job positions. Um, I'm presuming that most of them are low wage paying jobs. Uh, but there are also just, just I, I saw bank positions open. Uh, are, there, are there jobs around town? Uh, like, But most of them are low, low wage jobs. Most of them, people are saying, it's not worth it to go back. Okay, you gotta pay me more. Uh, you have to incentivize me more. And, and you know, we don't have unions fighting for anybody, so people are just saying no. I mean, they, in a way, it's like, it's a union stance without a union. They're just saying no to horrible conditions. And, you know, almost 8 million job openings are, are, remain available. Uh, but one of, the, one of the main factors, and there's a lot of factors in play, and many, you know, many reasons why people don't want to return. But no one really talks about this one. I don't hear anyone talking about people can't afford to return to work because they don't have health care if they get sick. Now, I know the government is providing vaccines at no charge. Uh, that's great. That's that's a no brainer, right? Like that's nothing, you know, too shocking. Uh, but, you know, if people still get sick, even with the vaccine, you still can get sick. Um, you know, you're going to be stuck with hospital bills. You're going to be stuck with doctor bills. And most of these low wage workers don't have in, you know, health insurance. So they can't afford to get sick. People cannot afford to get sick when, you know, 30 million people pre-COVID didn't have any health insurance, where over 100 million had not enough health insurance coverage. Um, so there's a crisis that nobody's even talking about during the pandemic, which is, health coverage in America. Where's the Medicare for all discourse? Just because the primary in 2018 has passed and the presidential election from 2020 has passed, we should still be talking about Medicare for all every single day. It should be in the discourse. It should be at the tip of our tongues. It should be everywhere, especially right now. It's the main reason, in my opinion, that people aren't going back. They can't afford it if they get sick. Even with the vaccine, they could still possibly get sick. They don't want to risk it. I wouldn't want to risk it either. They don't want to gamble. And it is just a clarion call to all of us who reason honestly. We need universal health care in this country like every other Western nation does. I'm not even saying nationalized health care. I'm talking about the middle ground, which is Medicare for all. If, if you need a refresher on what Medicare for, for all is, it is when the government becomes the insurance processor and the private sector doctors and hospital networks, they, they just stay where they're at. They don't become government doctors. OK, this isn't nationalized health care like they have in the UK. I wish, but it's not even that. It's a halfway point. So you're only using government for the insurance processing. It's very efficient. It's one of the things that is very efficient that governments do across the Western world, okay? Saying it can't be done is idiotic because literally every Western nation does this, okay? So you're not gonna sell me on any argument that we can't do it here. Sorry, it just doesn't exist. There's no viable argument other than greed, other than uh, certain people at the top want more money, okay? Because it's just it's just a money it's just a money grab. That's all it is. That's the only viable argument possible why we don't have Medicare for all and the wealthiest nation on earth. Okay, it's a money grab. But anyways, back to my original point. It's because people can't afford to get sick. And that is, and someone who's going through that is so valid. 
to not show up. I mean, one, the wages are horrible. I get that. And that's a valid reason. But getting sick, it, you know, it, for these people cannot afford to get sick. These are low income earners. These are people at the bottom of the socioeconomic class in this country. They don't have health care. Some of them might, some of them might qualify. But once again, pre-pandemic numbers, 30 million. You know there's a, a huge pocket of that 8 million uh, you know, job openings that they're not gonna have health care. They're just not. And people are actually gonna lose health care because all of a sudden they're making too much money. Oh, and it's a nightmare. It's an absolute nightmare. So let's get the Medicare for all conversations going again in our circles uh, with our friends and family uh, and, and allies and counterparts too, because it's just, it's just crying out to us more than ever, more than in the primary, more than in the presidential election. At, at no time in our life has universal health care been a more pertinent topic to right now inside of a global pandemic, right? So it's like, don't forget about the Medicare for all uh, argument, okay? So I just wanna throw that out there at you. Hope you're having an awesome day. Stay out of the heat. It's gonna be hot for a lot of us in the East and the West. So hope you're staying cool where you're at.